actually doing something. Scraping my ass. Smooth. Smooth. How many seats does this have? Five? I said the red one. Is that red? Yeah. I think it's got five. It looks burgundy. Oh, it's kind of maroon. <laughs> That's what burgundy is! Well. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Tomato, tomato. We all locked up. Oh yeah, by the way, Austin never drives anything anymore. We made that rule a long time ago after an MI-17 incident. Yeah, no, he, he wrecked a motorcycle twice. Uh, I'm not allowed to do it. Somebody else can shut up. Wait, am I not allowed to go on militarized servers then? Where, where did Austin go? <laughs> he just vanished inside. Austin, where are you? Inside. You're what? I'm inside. How are you staying? I was checking something. Wait, just to make Jesus sure. Christ, man, um, come on, we gotta go. Are there KA fifties on this server? You should have posted security before getting in. All right, let's go. Come on, I don't know, know yet. We haven't been able to get a hell yet. Where am I going? Where am I going? West Kalenka. Okay. Come on, gentlemen. Kern's gonna chill for right now. He just got everything downloaded, but gonna take a break for a bit from playing games. So we're all gonna die horribly. Okay, um, okay, so, hotel. just so we're clear, when we stop, we post security. We're each sitting in a spot. Post security relative to your spot. Two, if we start taking shots, John, for the love of God, do not stop. So stop, right? <laughs> and three, three if you get hit, just say it once. That's all we need. We don't need to hear you say it constantly. John's a medic. He will save you. Yeah, John. I hope so. If I get hit, though, I'm going to scream like a bitch, so... I'm in! Okay, so Brian. Head on a swivel. Brian, just to make sure. That'll be great because that means that poodles will die. That is um, as long as they don't have a chest plate on. That's why. I mean. This sent me. While the Mosin Nagant takes a step in the right direction by chambering a larger caliber, this sent me promises to actually be able to send the desired thousands of rounds downrange, much like an AK. Only we just drove right by a new spawn. <laughs> Rather than rush. He was dead. Oh, uh, he's standing up on my screen. <clears throat> he was bent over. He was While dead. promising, it is said to fall short, since it's commonly known that century built models can only be fired once like ex before exploding. The best known solution is to use it like a hand grenade. Throw it at the bad guys and hope they fire it so it explodes on them rather than you. I was tempted to buy a set me until I realized that quote unquote H and K G three clone was not really an H and K G three clone. <coughs> and the correct call for people is contact a direction an approximate range. Come on guys. Milson's coming back. Form of not Milson. Although you are currently guilty, Ryan, of yelling shots. So just let you know. The G three would probably make a good post shit hit the fan weapon, but they're full auto and Uncle Sam Sam says you can't have one. And because he said so and because he's the uncle. Well, you could get one if you sold your house and lived in your car to pay for it. And that's pretty much the same thing. The good news is, is that you can get a semi-automatic version, and they're black, a major improvement. <laughs> the major complaint is about the design is that it has a fluted chamber and a roller delay blowback action, making it too exotic for a viable shit hit the fan weapon. The other major drawback about this German improvement is that it's not an M1 or an <laughs> FAL. This thing hauls yeah. ass. Like, like, if someone yeah. were to give me an H and K G three or ninety one, whatever the fuck you want to call it, HK91. right now, yeah, I would, I would seriously just be like, I love you forever. Who do you need murdered? It's a little extreme. The F A F L is the Freemason of rifles. Shots, oh, shots, right. Contact, right. Are. I'm not stopping. Like I was told to. I told you not to stop. That's why I'm not stopping. There's a player that just crossed the street in front of us. Let's keep I'm going. playing Crossy Road on my thumb. Yeah, he's right. Okay. He's got a weapon. Yeah. Contact. It's, it's behind. Daisy. Please don't drive in a super straight line. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid hitting buildings, so. Hey, wait, what about a Freemason? Hang on. All clear? We're out of town. We're good. All, all good? All good. Alright. <clears throat> 
since you don't run into them uh, often and they're reported to be everywhere and secret can secretly control the world of guns, this explains why the owners tend to worship their rifles, often converting their gun cabinets into FAL shrines and form performing bizarre candlelit rituals before their rifle, which what? only the initiated understood. For the uninitiated, the upside of the FAL is that it can be found in black furniture and has high cap magazines. FAL owners tend to taunt AR owners about their poodle shooter calibers, touting the ability of a 308 to penetrate trees such as obstacles. While this puzzles some, I suspect the members of the FAL cult may so have some mysterious knowledge that the common man does not, that perhaps when shit hits the fan and hordes of trees rise up to destroy the human race, we all want FALs. I like it. <laughs> the M1A, the ultimate shit hit the fan rifle. We know this because M1A owners remind us of this constantly. Like the FAL, it's capable of stopping a tree in its tracks. When hordes of killer trees take the rest of us, FAL and M1A owners will likely be the only ones left to hash out who has the better rifle. Player. Of course we know the answer. Right. I'm not gonna try to run him over. He should've. If he was on the road still, I would've, but... Of course, we don't know the answer because they tend to remind us of it constantly. The M1A, good the job. M1A, only good has job. superior penetration is an We're still good. accurate at distance. When hordes of killer trees have all been mown down, FAL owners will quickly fall to the hordes of paper silhouette targets come to avenge their woodland brethren. M1A owners will stop or will stop the avenging targets with neat one minute of uh, accuracy when it of angle of groups. Ah, whatever. Fuck it. MOA groups center mass 600 yards. At that point, M1A owners will have to hash out which gun is better with the SOCOM 16 owners to determine who will inherit the Earth. A glaring design error of the M1A is that it's not black, which is why they invented the SOCOM. Indeed. I have a fuck ton more, so... I like how we didn't flip over, we just kind of slid <laughs> in a drifting fashion. Yeah, it's like H1Z1, not gonna lie to you. You just hit your turbo and, uh... when you're flipped over, and eventually you'll flip back over. Either way, Ryan, next story. You bought the wrong gun. The M14 M1A is a clunky, heavy, and overpowered. It's essentially the grand <laughs> parted up with a removable magazine and a half big attempt to adapt 19th century rifle design philosophy to the mid-20th century, often named the favorite infantry rifle by people who have never had to hump a 10-pound wood-stocked rifle with lots of sharp protrusions and no collapsible anything on a three-day exercise, or try to make it through a firefight with a battle standard battle load of 520 round magazines. The AK-47 crude and inaccurate bullet thrower designed by and for illiter illiterate peasants, chambered in a caliber that manages to cut the ballistics of a proper 30 caliber in half without passing on any weight savings to the grunt. Ergonomics only suitable for Russian midgets, archaic cable spring or cable trigger spring, <laughs> crumbed sights, no sight radius to speak of, no bolt hold open device, and a clumsy safety. Favorite infantry rifle of Middle Eastern goat herders, guys named Abdullah, and backwards militia types who like the fact that it shoots cheetah and all that. 